All right, what's going on, everybody? We've got my main man, Wolf, the seven-month-old black Labrador retriever who loves me unconditionally. Maybe a little too much peanut butter time. Give me a wink in the comments if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, hey, listen, collar conditioning, he's been through heel and formal obedience on that choke chain, so he understands leash pops like you've seen in our previous videos. Heel. But now we're gonna overlay the e-collar. So every time I'm gonna pop, I'm also gonna give a little heel with continuous pressure until I find what level I wanna work on. I start low and work up. Good. Heel. Heel. And when he's out of heel, 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 heel. As soon as he gets in, pressure's turned off. Heel. I'm making heel, heel. Good. Good. Hustle your bustle, my friend. Heel. Good. I'm going to turn into him. Turn away. Heel. Bump. Heel. You're doing a good job, bud. Pick my pace up. Slow my pace down. Heel. Bump. So he's trying hard, so I've got to almost catch him. Heel, heel, heel. That a boy. So he's just a little behind me on that one, and I want him to learn that being heel, good. Being with me is where the the sweet spot is. Heel, good. Heel, heel, heel. Good. That a boy. What a good black Labrador retriever. Heel. Sit. Here. Good. Wolfie loves me. Heel. Good boy, right? So basically when I'm collar conditioning, heel, heel, good. I work low and build up. Now you've already done here. We're on to heel. So I already have an understanding of where Wolfie is. Heel on the collar. But I'm still going to work because it's the new command. Heel. Sit. Good. Because it's a new command, I'm going to work low again and come back up. So on the old 1820, we are on a nine right now. And on here, we had gotten up to like uh, 11, 12, 13, and then back, back down. So this tends to be his normal working level. Heel. Good. And remember, collar conditioning, when they are collar conditioned, when this whole process is over, you're going to be able to work let's just say on this collar it's an eight set let's just say it's an eight right in the house in the yard low distractions you're going to use a lower level on the collar he's not super fired up when he's playing around with his friends his energy level and excitement level is up and that eight is he's probably barely going to feel it right his brain is in a higher state of mind so the stimulation level tends to need to be higher to get him to snap out of it and comply. And then you back back down once you get him in that more calm state. Same with duck hunting, right? You're duck hunting, your dog breaks, his normal working level, he goes, yeah, right, I'll eat that all day. I'm going to get my duck. You're going to have to up it and then scale back down. Here, let's get him going. Heel, heel, pressure's turned off. Good boy. And I'm praising. Heel, good. Heel. Heel, good, good. I'm giving that verbal confirmation. Heel, 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 good. You can see he feels it, but it's not hurting his feelings. Heel, it's just right. It's that sweet spot, baby, all right? So my sessions, heel, again, are short, five minutes, eight minutes, heel, good. I don't wanna beat the proverbial dead horse. Heel, is that the right term? Proverbial, I don't know. Heel. I was a sociology major, not a English major. Sit. Good boy, you're my friend. Guys, that's collar condition to heel. Do this for three to five days. Here is three to five days. Heel is three to five days. Sit is three to five days. Kennel is three to five days. As we move through collar conditioning, I'm going to start overlaying and integrating other commands. So heel and sit. Heel and kennel, here and kennel, here, heel and sit. 
right? Oh, that a good boy. That peanut butter jelly time. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, click subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in another video. Bye.